All right, just got done with the media session of the NFL Combine. Tell me about this experience and what it's been like for you so far. Um, it's been very exciting, you know, very different. Uh, you know, sometimes you don't have a lot of time. There's been a lot of medical medical things right now, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, you know, you only have these opportunities, you know, once in a lifetime. So I'm going to take full advantage of it. Getting ready to participate with the stuff on the field. What are some of your goals and what do you kind of want to accomplish out there? Um, you know, basically, my main goal is to go out there and have fun, not be stressed about it, not be nervous. You know, when you're nervous, that's when you make mistakes. That's when you mess up. You know, you can't think about it too much. And uh, I'm just going to, you know, go out there, you know, like I said, you know, give this opportunity, you know, my best shot. What if, when you've been meeting with teams and, and everyone, what have they been saying that they like about your game and what do they want to see from you, you know, from here into the draft? Um, I've been getting a lot of a lot of positive feedback. You know, they're saying they like what they see on film, um, especially the end of the interview process. I'm doing a good job with that, you know, talking to them, being able to, you know, go over my defense, knowing my defense and explaining it to them. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're, you know, taking a lot of interest in me and I feel like I'm, you know, putting out a good name for myself right now. What's it like going through this experience with uh, a lot of your teammates down here as well? Oh, it was good. Um, you know, I'm uh, having a lot of fun. See him, you know, see him every day. You know, talk to him with, with the little amount of time that we do have with each other. So, uh, you know, I'm having fun. I'm glad. I'm glad they're out here too, having fun. I'm glad. You know, Michigan State has a, a lot of guys out here who's you know trying to make a name for the program. You guys have had here guys here in the past. What have you learned from those guys? And kind of this has become a pretty big event for, for the team and how has Michigan State helped you get to this level and get ready for this? Um, I learned a lot from those guys, you know, those guys who you know came came here, you know, last year and years before, you know, they told us, you know, what, what to expect. And uh, I feel like, you know, Michigan State, you know, gave made us, you know, you know, good, great young men, you know, to be able to get this opportunity, not just, you know, because our our uh, play on the field, but also how that we uh, act off the field as well. Tell me what a team's going to get when they draft you. Um, you know, a great guy to have around the locker room. You know, going to be a leader, um, great athlete as well. You know, just someone, you know, who's going to, you know, give it, give it, um, they're all on every single snap, whether it's special teams or whether it's, you know, playing a, a starting snap on just, or two snaps just on defense. Talk about the guys at the linebacker court because they're going to have to replace you. Talk about the guys we can look forward to filling the middle of the defense. You know, Riley did a good job leaving off last year, you know, you, but you also have Reshke and, uh, Reshi uh, stepping in, and, and then Byron Buller. You know, you, you got a lot of guys, you know, who could go out there and compete for the middle middle linebacker job. You got a lot of guys who can go out there and play multiple positions, which is going to help them with uh, depth-wise. So, um, you know, if you got Ed Davis and, you know, Darren Harris coming back, um, you know, two, they're going to be great leaders. Um, and uh, you also have uh, Chris Fry, who got a little bit of experience last year as a freshman, and, you know, Shane Jones and guys like that. I feel like they have a lot of depth, which is going to really, you know, make make each other make them push each other. You know, competition wise, and make them uh, great. Uh, you know, better athletes at the end of the day. And as a team as a whole, Connor coming back, Shalee coming back. There's a lot of positive going into next year. So, what do you think we can expect from the Spartans next year? Oh, it's still gonna be tough. I, you know, they right now they're saying national championships, and you know, I have all the faith in the world. And we'll start with that first game against Western, and I feel like after that game, they make a statement, and then after Oregon, they make a statement. You know, they're gonna show show the nation. You know, they're not a, they're, uh, you know about to compete for a national championship. What were some of your best moments at Michigan State? And when you leave, what will you remember the most? Um, what I remember the most, you know, the, uh, the 2013 season, um, being, winning the big, being here and winning the Big Ten championship game and uh, going on to the Rose Bowl and winning the, winning the Rose Bowl game. And also, you know, the last the last game that we played, which against Baylor, when we came back against, we came back from being down 20 in, uh, in the fourth quarter. Just, you know, being around the guys in the locker room, you know, uh, you know, it's different, you know, not being not being able to be there, but you know, uh, life goes on, but you know, I'm always gonna have those memories in uh, in my heart and in the back of my mind.